Hello and welcome to this incredibly rainy episode of the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Today I'm standing outside a country mansion that boasts four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms and a three car garage. This home is dotted around with plenty other incredible homes right here in Hyde Park. But before we talk more about the home to my left, let me let you know that you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. My name is Chad Riveros. This is the Private Property Home Shopper Show. Welcome home. And here we are inside the entry hall, transporting ourselves slightly because of the rain outside. But this home is absolutely stunning. I'm surrounded on three sides by floor to ceiling glass, looking out onto incredibly well manicured lawns. And this entry hall is no less special because of the recessed LED lighting above me, projecting onto a vaunted ceiling, really making this home feel warm and cozy as well as spacious and airy. Moving forward into the rest of the entry hall, we've got a winding staircase snaking its way all the way up to the top level and then a glass elevator that we're going to be taking a look at later that takes you up to that top level as well. On my left hand side we've got your guest bathroom as well as a really warm and cozy reception room and I think we're going to start off with that. The first lounge in this house is the perfect movie watching spot. The room is super cozy thanks to the carpeted floors and the gorgeous library wall. But of course, any home theater like this isn't complete without a screen, and this space doesn't disappoint. The projector screen is cleverly tucked away so the room remains clutter-free. Leaving the reception area behind, these wood floors continue into a formal lounge area. We've swapped the wood for stunning carpets and a huge space to call your own. Very, very comforting because we've got a wood fireplace there situated into a really, really nice and quite large mantle. But this home with the tall ceilings really does make you think of a state house or a country home, looking out onto the beautiful greenery of the garden, as well as an incredible Cool. I have to admit, this home, without a doubt, really does ooze opulence and refinement, but a lot of warmth as well. Now, one of the cooler things I've seen here that we've never noticed before in another home is these windows right here. So the bottom windows open upwards and the top windows, and this is all connected on a pulley system, open downwards. So regardless of where that breeze might be, you're always gonna have a really, really airy, fresh, and beautifully spacious home. But if you've got pets, you don't even need to worry about a doggy door or possibly a kitty door because it's built in. So I really like it, it is a super cool feature. And this room right here leads immediately through these double doors. Again, glass, continuing that feeling of openness in this home without it feeling too empty onto this. And this is another thing that I think is very, very special. And now why I like this room is threefold. We are playing around with the flooring. We went from really beautiful wood flooring to carpet now to tiles. And those tiles serve a very, very practical purpose because this is your indoor outdoor area. You've got two sets of sliding stackable glass doors. You can open up these as well as these, or you can close and change it depending on the weather, depending on what you're trying to achieve, or just depending on what you want your guests to feel when you're entertaining in this home. So much space here, both for a lounge suite as well as a dining room table. And this dining room table isn't just here for looks because right here, you've got your indoor, outdoor, bra area, gas bra, as well as an extractor all the way out. You can do this at any point, any weather, any season. If you wanna have a really nice bra, South Africa's favorite pastime, you've got it covered. But in terms of entertainment, we see it once again, one of the most popular features that we see in all the homes, and that is those recessed ceiling speakers for entertainment throughout the home. Now, we've got another set of sliding doors and those sliding doors are right here again all of the glass you can open it up and depending on how you style your home walk immediately into your informal lounge we're going to take the long way around because there's so much to look at and you get a quick peek of that glass elevator behind me follow me and let's take a look 
and here we are within the informal lounge area again space is tantamount throughout this home i must admit i love the space i also love how comfortable and cozy it feels well again you've got these incredible views of the rose gardens behind me the green lush grass the outside dining room area and then what kind of country home would this be without another fireplace again recessed into a beautiful mantle tall ceilings really nice lighting and right next to this informal lounge well it's your dining room area let's take a look a couple of quick steps and we find ourselves immediately into your dining room area this definitely a formal dining room area this is a place that you're going to be impressing all of your guests with and another fireplace right there so i count if we include the bri that is four different fireplaces one two three four you know you're in a special home with four different fireplaces windows now overlooking more gardens super tall ceilings beautiful chandeliers and behind me again befitting any country home or in this case country mansion your wine nook double built-in fridges and a whole stack of wine so if you are a wine connoisseur this is definitely the home for you and what i'd like to maybe point out is that this home the lines of it are super clean it is quite a contemporary home so you've got a lot of leeway depending on how you style the home if you want it to be classic if you maybe want it to be more modern or if you like this warm cozy feeling that box is also checked And here we are in the kitchen and those classic timeless lines continue above us we've got a sloped ceiling leading off into windows really letting the light pour in from the top which brings a lot of that warmth and then so many windows around the perimeter looking onto your garden which i love because i think cooking and being one with nature while cooking really does make it feel all the more special the center island is enormous so regardless of how many people you're entertaining i think you could probably fit all those dishes here but those small little touches that make it easy to cooking are all present we've got your utility sink we've got that built-in plug points which i really like we've also got your five point gas stove over here all of your burners as well as an oven underneath extractor fan there another oven over here under counter storage running all the way through as well as display cabinetry and then if you want something smaller more intimate you've got this space right here which acts as a breakfast nook for you and the family again surrounded by windows all of them and this is one thing i'd love to point out is that the quality the finishes of the home even down to the brassware or in this case silverware is absolutely incredible the home feels brand spanking new and it's not often you find homes of this size still feeling so well taken care of both the scullery and the pantry is exactly what you'd expect from a 23 million rand house it carries through the modern country style design of the kitchen there's space for all of your appliances and an extra fridge but that's not all this little room also houses a walk-in pantry with more than enough space for all of your dry goodies and now with the bottom floor wrapped up all the living areas taken care of it's time for us to take a journey upstairs and see what the bedrooms have in store for us and here we are on that wrapping staircase that we saw earlier on in the episode beautiful staircase lovely carpet running all the way up the staircase but on the staircase you really get to appreciate what your entry hall looks like and i think homes like this the finer details do count a lot you want to live in a home that you can really enjoy living in where you walk through or walk into every room and you're like wow this is mine finally i've made it and this home definitely has that feature so we're on the top level on my right is that glass elevator perfect if you want to take the shortcut upstairs and i love how downstairs it is completely glass all the walls are glass you can look through it it doesn't look like one of those big bulky elevators we've seen in the past however we're in the bedroom section of the home for security we've got this drop down security door although right here in the middle of Hyde Park I don't think it's going to be a really big concern we're coming through a gated road that is security and access controlled first bedroom off to my right it's time to take a look and now here we are within the bedroom wing of the home 
Now, there are two bedrooms here, both of them with their very own ensuite bathroom, both of them large, spacious, airy, with incredible views. And I even love the way the ceiling makes this home, or should I say this bedroom, feel all the more larger and so much more special. Very cozy, but the view here has to be the selling point. You're looking out onto that in manicured garden, as well as this beautiful landscape of trees behind these windows here. And I love these windows. It's the ones with the pulley systems built in. It really does give you a modern take of one of those old timey feels. The ensuite bathroom is full size with a large shower, single vanity and freestanding bath with a hand shower attachment. The rest of the bedrooms are just as large, spacious and stunning as the ones we've already seen in this home. They all have expansive windows that are letting plenty of light, carpeted floors and underfloor heating. They also have their own ensuite bathrooms, which come equipped with a shower, bath and single vanity. What more could you need? And now it's finally time for us to take a look at the master suite of this incredible contemporary country mansion here in Hyde Park. It's just off to my right, let's take a look. And as usual, double doors lead us into this master suite. This room is the supersized version of what we've seen so far. Beautiful room with plenty of space and double high ceilings. Right here, I'm standing in to your very own pajama lounge within your bedroom. Windows, as well as recessed windows, looking out onto your pool area as well as garden, letting a lot of greenery become the forefront thing that you see in this home because you've got these trees surrounding you as a privacy screen. So it almost does make you feel like you're in the forest and definitely not in the heart of Santon. I think Santon's about a five minute drive from here. And then all of the space leads onto your very own walk-in closet. We're gonna take a look at the walk-in closet and then we're gonna take a look at what the master ensuite bathroom looks like. Follow me and let's see. If you're walking closet, you've got all of the cupboard space you could ever want with cupboards lining all four walls. You've also got a window letting in some of that natural light and it is the perfect place to put the dresser you see there right now because getting ready is so much easier with that natural light shining onto you. Really good down lighting and another nice feature that this house has is the whole home has got underfloor heating which means right here in the bathroom that's going to come in really handy in those freezing South African winters. You've got your bathtub right here, front and center with windows leading all the way up. Plenty of privacy because of the foliage outside of the window and really beautiful plantation shutters that you can easily open and close as you see fit. Massive bath, really, really nice placement. But if bathing isn't your thing, you've got a walk-in shower behind me with a place there for you to sit down and relax in that very spacious shower. His and hers vanities, both with under counter storage and both with those private mirrors so you're gonna never need to worry about your husband or your wife stealing any of your favorite face creams. And then behind this door, this privacy door, you've got your toilet as well as bidet. Beautiful chandelier hanging overhead, giving you that final touch to make this room feel all the more special. But right now we've come to an end of this episode and showcasing this incredible home. Let's go downstairs and talk about how you can become the next owner. Unfortunately, due to the rain, we're gonna to have to end the show off slightly differently. So while you enjoy views of this home from the air, let me tell you what you get when you purchase this home. The home bar earths four bedrooms, four and a half bathrooms, three garages, incredible open spaces, beautiful floor to ceiling windows, classic ornamentation and clean lines, all for 23 million rand. If you'd like to become the next owner of this beautiful family home, please contact Law Real Estate. And a thank you goes out to Law Real Estate for allowing us to tour and show you what this home has to offer. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel if you wanna see some other incredible South African homes. Better yet, Hit that notification bell so you don't miss the Private Property Podcast and all the other exciting shows we have to offer. And remember, you can find your new home on privateproperty.co.za. But from myself, Chad Viveros, and the team at The Home Shopper Show, thank you so much. We'll see you next time. It's time to get out of this rain. Goodbye.